Cognitive Development and Jean Piaget. Cognitive development is the development of all mental activities that have to do with thinking, knowing, and remembering. Another psychology all-star, Jean Piaget, studied human cognitive development and he worked up a theory based on his belief that intellectual development occurs as humans struggle to make sense of the world. Did I create this? It makes no sense at all. Piaget thinks both nature and nurture are important. According to Piaget, the physical brain structure controls behavior, but that basic structure expands and adjusts through experience. In order to make sense of the world, humans form concepts I call schemas. Schemas are organized sets of actions, like the set of actions you follow to make your bed or tie your shoe. If you learn a new way to make your bed or tie your shoe, you have to change your existing schema or the existing set of actions you use. According to my theory, you rework your existing schemas in two ways, assimilation and accommodation. Oh. Assimilation is fitting new information into the framework of what you already know. It's like taking in new experiences and making sense of them based on old experiences. If little Susie knows that a cow is a big, hairy, four-legged animal, she may see a horse or a donkey and call it a cow. Cow! Cow! She is using the information she already has cow. to make sense of the new things she is exposed to. But sometimes you can't make sense of a new experience based on what you already know. Sometimes you have to change your existing schema or framework of belief to fit new information or experiences. This process is called accommodation. When little Susie figures out that a donkey is a donkey, of course, and not a cow, she has to change her existing framework of understanding to accommodate the fact that not all hairy four-legged creatures are cows. Donkey! Donkey! Hey, get that French dude. He came up with the four stages of human cognitive development. They are the sensory motor stage, the pre-operational stage, the concrete operational stage, and the formal operational stage. We'll give you the rough age ranges for these stages later. Remember, these age ranges aren't fixed or definite. Exactly when people go through these stages depends on a number of factors, including the size and quality of a person's brain structure at birth. The general age for the sensory motor stage is from birth to two years. During this stage, children understand the world primarily through their senses and by physically dealing with stuff. They look at everything, grab it, touch it, taste it. Did your nine-month-old sister try to chew on your shoes? That's normal for a kid in the sensory motor stage. However, if your current roommate is chewing on your shoes, that's not normal behavior. Move out. During this stage, kids develop object permanence, which is the awareness that objects exist even when you can't see them. Once this happens, peekaboo is not nearly as exciting because the kid knows that even though you're hiding behind the pillow, you're really still there. See the little teddy bear? Now watchy, watchy! Oh, where'd he go? Where'd the little teddy bear go? It's behind your back, Mom. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm way beyond the sensory motor stage. Also in this stage comes the development of stranger anxiety. This is when kids start to detect a difference between loved ones and strangers, and they freak out when a stranger tries to hold them or do something with them. When kids are between the ages of about two and six, they are in Piaget's pre-operational stage. Kids in this stage understand a little bit more than just what's right in front of them at the moment, and they develop language abilities. For example, if you say the word ball to a pre-operational kid, she will be able to picture a ball in her mind, even though there isn't a ball in front of her. Susie, why don't you get your ball so we can play with it? Okay, Daddy. Kids in the pre-operational stage also don't understand the concept of conservation. Conservation is the principle that properties like mass, 
volume, and number stay the same, even though their form might change. For example, if you show a kid in the pre-operational stage these two identical closed beakers of milk, then you turn one upside down and ask if there's more liquid in the beaker on the left or on the beaker on the right, she would probably tell you there's more liquid in the beaker on the right, because to her, it looks like there's more, even though she just saw that there's the same amount of milk in each beaker. Somewhere around 7 to 11 years old, kids are in the concrete operational stage. I'm in the concrete operational stage, yeah! <laughs> During the concrete operational stage, children learn to think logically in situations that aren't abstract. They get the idea of conservation, and they can learn to do math. For instance, the concrete operational kid can figure out that one four-inch piece of cake is the same amount as two two-inch pieces of cake. You are in the formal operational stage, or at least we assume that you are, and you have been since you were 12 or so. In the formal operational stage, you can do abstract reasoning, figure out the consequences of actions and events, and think about moral issues. So, according to Jean Piaget, humans make sense of the world by forming organized sets of actions he called schemas. When we learn new things, we have to adjust our existing schemas. We do this through assimilation, which is fitting new information into our existing schema, and accommodation, which is changing our schema to fit the new information. Piaget also outlined four stages of cognitive development. They are the sensory motor stage, when children understand the world primarily through their senses, the pre-operational stage, when children develop language and object permanence, the concrete operational stage, when kids learn to think logically, do math, and they grasp the concept of conservation. And after age 12 or so, they enter the formal operational stage, when they can do abstract reasoning, figure out consequences, and think about moral issues. 